Sal, we're here with On Third Movement, bringing a video to you guys. We're going to be talking about black history, um, black Christians and black history. People who had a, um, who did big things in um, the history of Christianity um, that were black are, you know, um, they could be, um, we, we're going to highlight some um, individuals of other races. But we just want to celebrate black history um, this, this year. With um every day of the week, we're gonna give you some little known fact about a um black person you may not have never known. Um, today we're gonna be talking about um Doctor. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Well, today we're gonna be talking about um Doctor Louisa Cecilia Lulu Flemings. So Doctor Lulu Flemings, um, amazing lady. And um, I am honored to um, just put women on this list. You know, I think that um, we can't forget about powerful black women in 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 in, in any in any history of anywhere. Um, I think our, our black women are you know are just as courageous um, as black men, especially going through slavery. They they black men we didn't go through it alone, right? We had. We had people that went through it just like us that was women. And um, we need our sisters. We have to love our sisters. Sisters, you need a man. And um, so, sisters, I hope you really see this this lady and, and encourage you today to do something great in history. And, man, I hope that you see this lady passion and encourage you to do something great in history as well. All right, it says, Dr. Uh, Luis Lulu um, Cecilia Flemings, the first African American to graduate from the Women's um, Medical College in um, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She was born in January 28, 1962, to slave parents on a plantation near uh, Hebrea, Hebrea in Clay County, Florida. So she's right, she's 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 near me. <laughs> she was near me. That's cool. Her father is unknown. She was born by um, she was she was raised by her mother. Who served as a maid in the in the in the plantation house? As a child, she traveled along with her um, owners and her mother to Jacksonville, Florida, to um, attend Bethel Baptist Church, which is uh, which in 1958 had a membership of 40 white people and 200 black slaves. 250 black slaves. I'm sorry. In um, 1865, immediately after the Civil War. The white and black members of the congregation separated and formed their own congregations, which is Lulu Fleming completed her basic education and trained to become a, a teacher. She first taught in public schools near um, St. Augustine, Florida. In 1980, I'm sorry, 1880, a uh, visiting Brooklyn, New York uh, minister, impressed by her knowledge of scripture and her teaching, encouraged her to attend Shaw University in North Carolina. Fleming, Fleming graduated from Shaw um, um, from Shaw as a class valedictorian. On May 27, 1985. One year later, she received a request from the Women's Baptist uh, Foreign uh, Ministry Society to be the first representation uh, representative teacher in, a, in the Congos. Flemings accepted and became the first black woman appointed to serve as a missionary teacher. She used her position. Um, she used her position to send um, Congolese students to Shaw University. The first of these students, um, Esther Carolina, arrived at Shaw University in 1988 when she was um, 14. Fleming worked. Work was uh, interpreted in 1991 when she became uh, very ill. Her work was interrupted in 1991 when she became very ill and was forced to leave the United, uh, return to the United States. Uh, reflecting on her illness in Congo and aware of the limitations in medical care for her on treatment and the treatment on the general populations, Fleming decided to enrolled in the women's medical 
College in Philadelphia in 1991, becoming the first African American to attend the institute. While there, she received tuition assistance from the American Baptist uh, Missionary Society and graduated in 1995. Upon graduation, Dr. Flemings was appointed by the Women's Missionary uh, Foreign Mission Society to serve as a um, to serve as a medical missionary to Upper Congo. She was first assigned to the she was first assigned to the uh, Liberian Missionary Station, where it closed in nineteen. In, I'm sorry, eighteen eight ninety eight. She was um sorry she, she was resigned to be um belonging station Flemings was unique in what now was that um uh, what now was the um but Beling, Beling, Beling congo in the in that she was the only black woman doctor in the vast colony which was nearly one third of the size of the united states wow that's pretty huge Excuse me. Flemings was also known for the quality um, of the care she provided for those, for her training and uh, dozens of young Congolese women and men in basic medic uh, medical um, skills, so that the people of the region had localized uh, um, access to um, care. Louisa Cecilia Flemings worked in the Congo for for four years before she contracted Amer uh, African sleeping sickness. She returned to Philadelphia and died there on June 20, 1899. Um, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19. She was 37. Um, I'm just so used to saying 19. <laughs> um, I got caught up saying 19, 19 a lot when I should have been 18, 18. But you guys get that this lady was a powerful woman. Um, the the most amazing thing about this story and about her is she seen a need and she wanted to fill it. Um, um, she seen a need um, that, that, you know, over there they needed um, teachers, so she went over there and she filled the need. Then, you know, she was over there, she got sick, and she said they needed um, people to to really um, care for people, so she went and got her, um, her doctorate. And, and, and it's just an amazing story, man. I am... I, I I love I love researching I love the researching her and 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 I'm gonna tell you man if I can I'll be just some kind of lucky if I ever found a wife <laughs> that's half as amazing as this lady was um, I, I really believe that women you play an important role in our in 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 our history and we should celebrate that we should celebrate our history we should celebrate the role that you play. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, um, tomorrow we'll be, um, we'll be getting deeper into somebody else. And, and I really hope you had a good time. I really had a good time um, discussing this with you. And I'm going to keep my um, opinions to a, moment, a minimum. I'm very opinionated, but I'm going to keep mine to a minimal in this um, series because I just want to give you guys the facts of the people. And say so you guys to go check them out and research these people yourself. Delay Sawa, I'm Third Movement.